What's up guys, Ruptat here and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we kicked Seymour's ass a second time and have since fled from Bavel here to the Makalania Woods it looks like. And we're probably not going back to Bavel. Good riddance. Now, this episode's going to be done a little differently as you can probably tell by the title of it. Because we're about to enter a very long cutscene that I know I like mostly just because of the visuals. And not what you're thinking if you know what uh, cutscene I'm talking about. But the fact of the matter is, this cutscene's going to take a while. And I don't want to devote a full episode to going beyond that. Because it's going to make an episode really long. So I decided to make this a half episode. This is the only time you're going to hear my voice once I start the cutscene. Um, I will shut up and we will go about our business, get the cutscene out of the way, and then I will return to normal gameplay, obviously, in the next episode. So with that said, I'm going to be quiet now. We're going to go enjoy this scene. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys next time myself. Enjoy. I always thought that this would be easier somehow. I thought that everyone would help me, with all my friends together beside me. I've been trying so hard. Maybe... You're trying too hard. They told me. Everything. Everything? Well, so then... You know. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just... You know. All those things I said. Like, let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. I was happy. <gasps> Yuna! Just don't do it. The pilgrimage? Uh, 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 yeah. That's right. Forget all about sin. Uh, about being a summoner. Forget all of that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna, what do you say? Maybe I will. Wouldn't everyone be surprised? Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. Lulu and Waka wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes, too, I know. But Sir Oren. I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. No. I should tell him. He'd 
deserves it. What'll I do if I give up my pilgrimage? Mm. Hey, Xanarkin. Let's go to Xanarkin. Uh, not the one in Spira, the one I'm from. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, we can all fly there. Everyone can go. Then we'll have a big party at my place. And then we could see Blitzball. That's right. Your Xanarkand Abes would play? Yeah. We could all watch you play in the stadium all lit up at night. I'd cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on. Well, what about after the game? Huh? We'd go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> no problem. Xanarkin never sleeps. Let's go to the sea. Before the sunrise. The city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. It's really pretty. I know you'd like it. Hmm. I'd like to see it someday. Well, you can, Yuna. We can both go. You... I can't. I just can't.
continue. I must. Mm. If I give up now, I could do anything I wanted to. And yet, even if I was with you, I could never forget. I'll go with you. What? I'm your guardian. Unless I'm fired. <laughs> Stay with me. Until the end. Please. Not until the end. Always. Always then. Maybe you should head back to camp first. Roger. Wait, I'll go with you. Sir Oren? Waka? Lulu? Kamari? Riku? Everyone, we leave at dawn. And... I'm sorry for putting you through all this. And, um... Enough. You need your rest. Yes. Good night.